secure cath because since I joined this team, that's all we've ever used. That's all we've ever needed. Um, it's effective. Um, so we haven't really had to look at any other product because this one works all the time, every time. For our facility, it has reduced clapsies quite a bit. In our review of almost 8,000 patients with pick lines and the collapsing rates of those, we feel that micro pistoning, that movement, that movement in, that movement out, increased the potential risk of infection. And our study, I think, um, at least uh, the, the numbers prove that that is a, a true statement. But the key is, is that 288% increased risk by using an adhesive device over the subcutaneous device. We take great pride in making sure we're sterile and the patient is safe. And when I send them out to the community, uh, because of secure cap, I know that line stays exactly where I put it. So we noticed a big change with secure cast in really decreasing the number of issues we have with the pick lines in community. So um, patients don't need to come back here because of a malpositioned pick. Um, the line stays really secure for the entire treatment course. Once I put a line in, it needs to stay in for the duration of the treatment, and that might, and we don't know how long that might be. Um, and with Secure Cath, the migration has completely stopped. When you take off the dressing, there is no need to worry because the line is being held in place, literally held in place for the life of the line. What I love Secure Cath for is the uh, ease of dressing change on a, a pediatric patient where we know that they are really mobile and um, don't enjoy the, the dressing change process. So when we use Secure Cath, it makes the, the nurse doing the dressing change feel so much more confident in, in, that, in that because it reduces the risk of line dislodgement. In real life scenarios, patients move around, they twitch, they get up, they walk, they run, and we need the line to be held in place. Secure Cath holds the line in for the life of the line. Compared to the stat lock, uh, we just have a lot less pullback issues, and uh, patients able to, um, I think, move around and keep it in place a lot easier than with the, uh, the old way with the stat lock. We know that by placing this, we can explain to any of our floor nurses, any extended care facility or SNF, that um, how to properly take care of this. I don't worry once we send a patient out with a pick line um, that it's going to become dislodged, as often happens um, while bedside nurses are changing dressings. If you think about the number of adhesive devices that you need for the life of the line, whether it is you know, a routine therapy, a very short therapy, or a very long therapy, there is still that risk for dislodgement with the adhesive devices. And I think the one time and of that cost of the secure, secure calf anchor is worth it because you never have to worry about um, having a dislodgement or a malposition. It's so easy to use. Um, only take a couple of seconds to put the secure test next to the pick line. Initially, because I'm new here, I said, oh, how, how got this done? How, how to do this thing? But explain, and then, oh, it's absolutely easy. It just took, like, you know, and I thought it would bleed, and no bleeding. I was so amazed. It's pretty much low maintenance. With a stat lock, you have to replace it. With the glue, you have to replace it. With secure cath, once it's in, it's in. There's a improvement in the skin integrity around the pick line because we're not using um, a lot of extra tapes or like different adhesives underneath the pick dressing as well. Um, and I know community nurses really like how easy it is to take care of the pick line for uh, home care patients as well. But the thing about um, hospital in the home is that you've got a lot of uh, uncontrollable things happening, you've got dogs and cats and 
Um, so I found the Secure Cat um, much better because it um, you've got less things to control then to keep your area clean, and um, and it just it's it's a more seamless dressing change when you've got you know other things happening around you. You know, this, this device has really increased the confidence for the nurses doing dressing changes or doing assessments, which they're supposed to be doing every day, and really ensuring that, that the line is not moving. So, and during that dressing change procedure, which can cause a lot of anxiety, uh, they are assured that it's not moving and they feel more confident so they can fully clean um, uh, 360 degrees around that site and there's less risk for infection, contamination, and they feel confident when they're reapplying a new dressing. During that dressing change process, it's of particular interest to, to be able to clean right around that site and, and provide a good clean. In, in our patients who are mobile, not always terribly compliant in this scary procedure. Um, the clinicians generally want to get it done quickly. To, to reduce that risk of dislodgement. And in the process, sometimes that is at the expense of cleaning. So we know that with this, the securement, but also the, the allowance to be able to clean 360 degrees around the insertion site um, allows us probably better care outcomes. Nurses at the bedside particularly love it because when they do dressing changes every seven days for our facility, they can lift the line up, they can clean around it 360 degrees, the line will definitely not migrate, they can redress it and feel secure knowing that the line will be held in place. Very, very easy to clean around the site without the risk of dislodgement or malpositioning, which makes the nurses more comfortable in actually doing the best proper, you know, clean and care for the site. Sutures can be, they're, they're so problematic. Um, I usually, I take them out, as soon as that patient needs a dressing change, I take those sutures out immediately. Um, some physicians suture those lines in so tight, there's so much pain and you can't clean the site, you can't clean the line, and it's just very problematic. Um, I definitely prefer removing a line that has a secure cath in situ over sutures. Just a lot safer in terms of um, not cutting the patient or yourself. Today, we know and we have seen that SecuraCath reduces needle stick injuries. Our team is responsible for teaching residents, helping them to learn how to place central lines, temporary dialysis catheters, art lines, mid lines, that kind of thing. And we have seen accidental needle sticks in real life. We know for a fact that SecuraCath reduces needle sticks. The residents are actually very happy and very comfortable once they are trained to use it because it's, it's way faster than actually putting sutures in. Why wouldn't you use SecureCap? It's the best thing out there for our patients. I can't imagine using sutures, stat lock, anything like that again. We've been using SecureCap for five years almost, and it's been phenomenal for our patients. We've had several patients extremely satisfied because their lines aren't falling out anymore. We have zero collapses to date this year with our team. I can't imagine using anything else for securement of our lines. Uh, at first, when I first saw the product, I wasn't sold. That was a few years ago. And then I noticed how many people who are um, very big influencers in vascular access were using the product. And then my final time came when I was in the ICU doing a dressing change and I dislodged a line a centimeter um, and I thought okay enough is enough it doesn't matter how good you are sometimes we dislodge lines and it's very frustrating um, so if you are on the fence about secure cath I'd say trial it I mean you, you have great support um, with the secure cath team and there's really nothing to lose especially your line.